about and to do is to think about your organization like a laboratory, not like a factory. Factories are all about being linear, process-centric, status quo. It's all about doing the same thing all the time. Laboratories, on the other hand, they test, they experiment, they innovate, they use data, they play around with things all the time. That is the way to think about employee experience. Much more like a laboratory and less like a factory. And I can tell you that around the world, organizations, governments are starting to realize that the best way that you can future-proof your organization, the best way that you can start to attract and retain talent, the best way that you can deal with competition, with all these things that are starting to happen, is by making sure you can have the best talent inside of your company. And the way that you do that is by investing in the experience of your people. I think that this is the number one thing that organizations can do. This employee experience is the next big battleground for organizations around the world. It's going to be about who can design the best experiences for your people. Those are going to be the organizations that win. Now, there's a famous quote that says, with great power comes great responsibility. But all of you in this room have a lot of responsibility. So I think the opposite is also true. With great responsibility comes great power. And all of you in this room have tremendous power to create these amazing experiences for your people. And I am very, very excited to see what all of you are going to be able to come up with inside of your organizations. Athena and I hope you enjoyed that. If you want more content like that, check out futureofworkpodcast.com. And do me a favor, please review the podcast on Apple Podcasts or whatever your preferred channel is. Thank you very much.